Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it is your first click into my channel, hello, my name is Emily and I'm a full-time data scientist who has a huge interest in high-end and luxurious makeup. Today we're actually going to do something different because today I'm going to talk about my day and night skincare routine. If you're interested and want to know how do I take care of my skin, then please just keep on watching. I thought today would be a video of regarding the holiday new collection makeups, but unfortunately my order didn't arrive, so I think why don't I just talk about some of my skincare routine. This is also a pretty popular topic that a lot of people are actually asking me. First, I will start with my daily routine because my day routine is kind of different apart from my night routine. Because I do wear makeup a lot during the daytime, so I make sure that I have pretty light but moisturized skin base. Uh, so in general, for the day routine, I will start with this eye cream. This is the um, Shampree. I think it's called the Shampree. This is actually a spa care system brand. Uh, it is highly recommended in a lot of the Korean beauty salons. And uh, this is the this is called the Gold Solution Care Eye Cream, Nourish and uh, Replenish. It is made in Korea. A lot of like Korean girls like like and trust this brand, and they're really also famous for their mask as well. And I I always start with the eye cream because eye cream is the hardest product to absorb by your skin because the under eye areas are quite sensitive and uh, it's really hard for the products to be absorbed and so i always make sure i start by applying some eye cream and this one is actually a tube like this and i would just uh, like squeeze a little bit of product on my finger and then evenly distribute it on both at both eyes yeah that's the first step of my daily skin uh, day skincare routine and i always start by eye cream after that i will use a pretty light liquidy formula and this is from the Innisfree. This is also a Korean brand. Uh, I think a majority of the Korean brands are pretty affordable compared to a lot of like the luxury or high-end brands in like Sephora or even like the drugstore. I think for the Korean brand they do really well with the hydrating and moisturizing with affordable uh, price. So for the daily one I use the Innisfree Intense Hydrating Serum with the green tea seed. This one is like 80 ml, which is like pretty large, but I think this one retails for 30 Canadian dollars or like less than 30 Canadian dollars. And this serum is pretty liquidy. So as you can see, it's pretty runny and uh, fast absorbed by your skin as well. It's, it really builds up like a pretty light but hydrating base, which is something I really like for my day skincare routine. And after applying my eye cream and uh, the little bit of serum, I would like to then apply the Avani Thermal Spring Water Spray. This is a quite like famous spray. I think this is like a French brand. Yeah, that's this is a French brand and target for the sensitive skins. And for this, the mist is pretty fine, and it adds like a lot of hydration to your face so this is something i would like to use for both day and night skin routine so i generally would just apply uh first the eye cream and then the serum hydrating serum and then a little bit of this and then i will start with my bobby brown uh, that may enrich oh, i can't talk today that may enrich the face base so basically i will do eye cream uh, serum and uh, the water spray and then start with the hydrating primer it's not necessarily to be a primer as long as it's quite hydrating I will I will also sometimes substitute this with a light texture like a moisturizer but in a really light gel texture yeah and that's basically everything I will do before I actually apply everyday makeup now I'm going to talk about my night routine. My night routine is quite different from my day routine because I think nighttime it's it's like because at night you do sleep and that's the best time for your skin to breathe because you don't have the air pollution or the sun damage from the daily your daily actions or movement. And uh, generally after uh, the full day of makeup wear, I will first start by removing it. And uh, the, the brand I really trust is from the pharmacy. This is the Green Clean uh, Makeup 
melt your way cleansing balm i really like this balm like there it comes with a little spatula it doesn't it doesn't really smell that strong or like has an unpleasant scent and it's not i know it's like a cleansing balm and a lot of people think cleansing balm is overly oily which i don't think is for this brand it's it's not the case i think this it's just like a right amount of oilness and it can you fit effectively melt away all your makeup and after that i always make sure i do a double cleanse and uh, currently i'm using the i think it's called the evita beauty whip soap i mean uh, this one is really beautiful because it comes up with like a rose design i mean for the second cleanse the brand for me doesn't matter as long as can clean my face like eff effectively without being too dry I would like to use it so this one is actually pretty good product and I think this is a Japanese brand it's from the Kanbo I think it's called the Can Kanbo or Kanbo I don't know how to pronounce those brands <laughs> anyway um, this one I think contains some honey ingredient which really helps nourishing and uh, hydrate your face so after the cleansing it won't leave your face too dry that's something I really like and for the third step you don't have to do that but for me I always make sure I use the miscellane water I put a little bit of the miscellane water on the sashido cotton pad like this is the best cotton pad I've ever used and for me I use the La Mer miscellane water actually I tried a lot of different brands of miscellane water and uh, I have to tell you the truth, like nothing competes with my La Mer one. I know La Mer is pretty expensive. This one is like 200 ml. I think this one is 200 ml and it retails for 130 Canadian dollar and it's super pricey, I know. But uh, since I don't really use this water to cleanse, I just use this water as like a final checking step because I do find sometimes, even though after the double cleanse, there are still some little bit like residues leave on some like pretty hard to clean part like the corner of the eyes or like a really close to your lash eyelash line like there are some tough spots to clean and i always make sure to use a cotton pad and just to, like pour a little bit on the cotton pad and then lightly rub around your face to make sure everything is cleaned i know like for the miscellane water they said you don't need to wash it but i always do like I, I generally like if I wear makeup, I will just generally start by cleansing my face first and then after I brush my teeth, I will just like wash this off and then apply all the skincare product. I know this one is quite pricey, but to be honest, because I don't use this mainly clean my face, so one bottle of this can actually last me more than a year, I would say. So in my opinion, it's quite worth it. And after that, I will start by a product from the Clean Depot. It's, it's basically a lotion. It says it's a hydro and clarif clarifying lotion. Sorry, I was staring at the French part. I'm like, I don't need, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's actually hydro and clarifying lotion. This lotion can help you to like unclog all the pores and so it can make sure all the product you apply after can deeply penetrate into your skin so you can actually enjoy the benefit of all your expensive skin care products i always like apply a little bit on my palm and then evenly rub throughout my face and then i will use the clay depot essential refining essence so this essence i will only apply a little bit on my t-zone like where i think i have a large pore problem i think this product contains a little bit of alcohol if you have like a really sensitive skin then i don't actually recommend using this product to be honest i'm not like a big fan of this product and I think I won't be purchased this after I finish this bottle. The main reason I buy, I use this product is like it comes with like a skincare set. So it's already there. So why don't I just use it? I basically use this product on my large pore area. I just uh, pour a little bit on my cotton pad and gently tap it. Uh, one of the benefits I think this one has is to minimize your pores, which I don't think that's the case. Um, I don't think... I saw like an obvious result from this, so I, I don't think this one is necessary. I mean, I do have like a pretty large pore 
problem, but I don't think that product is worth it. I'm still looking for some great minimizing pore product, but definitely won't repurchasing that. And after I've properly prepped my face, I will also like start by applying some eye cream. For the eye cream, I'm actually using the Chanel Le Lift eye cream. So this is more like a cream texture, so it's pretty thick. It, it's, it's thicker, but it's not the type of like super thick and you feel like super oily under your eyes. This is not the case. So although it's like a thicker cream texture, but once you apply it, it blends so well and absorb into your skin pretty nicely. And I think for my age, I need to start adding the anti-aging benefit. So I think I really like the La Lift uh, eye cream. It has like a pretty good benefit of uh, forming your under eyes and at the same time provide you enough the hydration you need under your eyes. And I think it also has the benefit to prevent dark circles. I think it's also like help your dark circles at some degree, not too much, but because this is mainly for hydrating and firming your under eyes. But that's something I really like to use at night. And after that, I will use the Clarence Double Serum Hydra and Lip Lipidic Serum. Ah. So this serum is mainly for an anti-aging, like firming and like a smoothing. At the same time, provide the hydration it leaves my face pretty radiant and smooth so this is the kind of product I will use continue to use and then I'm going to apply some uh, Chanel Hydra Beauty Serum so I always make sure after I apply the anti-aging for uh, anti-aging serum I will apply some of the hydrating serum because in my opinion the reason you are losing uh, you're like your age is because the lack of the, the water percentage on your face So I always make sure make my face hydrating and moisturized all the time So I will add this kind of uh, Hydra serum to make sure after anti-aging my, my face is also being well hydrated After all of those I will apply some night creams. I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of this this like a uh, face cream but I mean I've already bought it so I would just keep using this one is pretty light texture so this is called the pink gloss this this technology is pretty interesting because it's like a pretty light gelish cream but when you rub it it like kind of become liquidy and easily absorbed by your face and I mainly using this product during the summertime when I don't think I need a lot of like hydration because it's summertime and you sweat a lot and the, the skin tends to be clogged easily so I, I will use something really light and that is one of the products I like to use during the summertime but like now it's kind of almost the winter in time which means we need more hydration and I will switch to something more intense and a little bit like a thicker texture Yep, and after the face cream, I'm, al I'm almost done with all my skincare routine. And as I said, I always use the Ebony Thermal Spring Water to spray, to spray my face as like a final touch. This is a really great product. Like I even like to bring a smaller size. Like I think there's like a 100ml one or the 50ml one. I can't remember exactly. But I always bring that water actually on my travel. Like, because this is an easy, e this is a really easy touch product. Whenever you feel like your face is a little bit too dry or you need a reboost, this is definitely the great product to go with. It's like it can quickly add some hydrating water drops to your skin and it's really soothing and truly softening your face. Yep, that's everything I use for my skincare routine. And uh, thank you for watching this video if you lasted this far. And to be honest, I think in my opinion, skincare is like 10 times more important than using uh, makeup stuff to cover your imperfections. I think like if you use the right or the correct skincare product, then it can really benefit your skin, help your skin to feel healthier. And in that case, you don't have to pursue a really full coverage foundation. For me, like a font, even for the foundation, I like to add the like skin benefit ingredient into my foundation. I always buy those like two in one type of foundation because skincare is just something really, really important for our face. Uh, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have any recommendations and you tell me if I should like for sure trying 
Uh, yeah, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will really appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.